Matthew chapter 18. At that time the disciples came to Jesus. So then, they said, Who is the greatest in the kingdom of heaven? Jesus called the child and stood her in the middle of them. I'm telling you the truth, he said. Unless you turn inside out and become like children, you will never, ever get into the kingdom of heaven. So if any of you makes yourselves humble like this child, you will be great in the kingdom of heaven. And if anyone welcomes one such child in my name, they welcome me. Whoever causes one of these little ones who believe in me to trip up, he went on, it would be better for them to have a huge millstone hung around their neck and be drowned far out in the deep sea. It's a terrible thing for the world that people will be made to stumble. Obstacles are bound to appear and trip people up, but it will be terrible for the person who makes them come. But if your hand or your foot causes you to trip up, Jesus continued, cut it off and throw it away. It's better to enter into life crippled or lame than to enter into eternal fire with both hands and both feet. And if your eye causes you to trip up, pull it out and throw it away. Going into life with one eye is better than going into hell with two. Be careful not to despise one of these little ones. I tell you this, in heaven, their angels are always gazing on the face of my Father who lives there. So how does it seem to you? If someone has a hundred sheep and one of them goes off wandering and goes missing, what will he do? He will leave the 99 on the hillside and go after the one that's missing, won't he? And when eventually he finds it, I'll tell you the truth, he will celebrate over that one more than over the 99 that didn't go missing. It's the same with your Father in heaven. The last thing he wants is for a single one of these little ones to be lost. If another disciple sins against you, Jesus continued, go and have it out, just between the two of you alone. If they listen to you, you've won back your brother or sister. But if they won't listen, you should take with you one or two others, so that everything may be established by the mouth of two or three witnesses. If they won't listen to them, tell it to the assembly. And if they won't listen to the assembly, you should treat such a person like you would a Gentile or a tax collector. I'm telling you the truth, whatever you tie up on earth will be tied up in heaven, and whatever you untie on earth will be untied in heaven. Again, let me tell you the truth. If two of you come to an agreement on earth about any matter that you want to ask, it will be done for you by my Father in heaven. Yes, where two or three come together in my name, I'll be there in the midst of them. Then Peter came to Jesus. Master, he said, how many times are we expected to forgive our brother when he sins against us? As many as seven times? I wouldn't say seven times, replied Jesus. Why not 70 times seven? It's like this, he went on. The kingdom of heaven is like a king who wanted to settle up accounts with his servants. As he was beginning to sort it all out, one man was brought before him who owed 10,000 talents. He had no means of paying it back. So the master ordered him to be sold with his wife and children and everything he possessed and payment to be made. So the servant fell down and prostrated himself before the master. Be patient with me, he said, and I will pay you everything. The master was very sorry for the servant and let him off. He forgave him the entire loan. But that servant went out and found one of his fellow servants who owed him a hundred dinars. He seized him and began to throttle him. Pay me back what you owe me, he said. The colleague fell down and begged him, be patient with me and I will pay you. But he refused and went and threw him into prison until he could pay the debt. So when his fellow servants saw what had happened, they were very upset. They went and informed their master about the whole affair. Then his master summoned him. You're a scoundrel of a servant, he said to him. I let you off the whole debt because you begged me to. Shouldn't you have taken pity on your colleague like I took pity on you? His master was angry and handed him over to the torturers until he paid the whole debt. And that's what my heavenly father will do to you unless each of you forgives your brother or sister from your heart. This is the word of the Lord.